Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can uh, calculate the uh, TPI and MT1 for a vessel using the blue pages. Okay. So, uh, what we're going to do here is first we're going to define the area of the water plane. Then we're going to define the water plane coefficient. Then we'll define the block coefficient. And then we're going to, uh, I'm going to introduce a couple of formulas and then we'll do one example. And then you'll have uh, a few problems to do uh, for this assignment. Okay, so uh, area of the water plane, first thing. Okay, so here's a hull. Let's say it's floating in the water. And uh, this orange stuff is your freeboard. And down below is, uh, you know, the hull underneath the water. So this dotted blue line is your water line. Okay. So if you were to be able to cut along that water line, you essentially would cut this part of the vessel right off, okay? And then this, is be, uh, this would be your water plane area, two-dimensional surface, okay? So I'm going to take that. I'm just going to slide it over here. Okay, now this water plane area has a length, okay? And it has a breadth as well, okay? So there's a maximum beam here, okay? So... Um, this, this, uh, it would be difficult for us to calculate this. We'd actually have to use calculus to do it, probably. But anyway, uh, we can actually calculate the area of this, okay? And we'd have to break it up into smaller rectangles to do that, and it would be a lot of integration going on there, okay? But we could definitely do that. But there's also a number that we're interested in, which is the, um, what it, it, it compares this area to a block, uh, a pl uh, excuse me, a rectangle that would have this length and that beam. So that would be this. So if I take the area of my actual water plane and I divide it by uh, a rectangle that has the same overall length and the same overall uh, breadth, then I can get a ratio. Okay, and that ratio would be uh, would express a sort of a percentage. So the water plane coefficient, which we're going to define, at, we're going to give a symbol of little p, is the actual water plane area divided by a rectangle that has the same maximum overall length and the maximum breadth. And it essentially gives us a percentage. What percentage of that, of this blue area, is, is it of this? Okay, so that's that. We're going to need that later on. So another term we're going to have to be familiar with in order to do these calculations is block coefficient. Um, and so block coefficient is the comparison of the volume of an actual hull shape, okay? So including its flare and, you know, camber, all those things that make up the shape of a hull, to a block that would have the same maximum length, the same maximum breadth, and the same maximum depth. Okay, so here is, a, here is let's say, a, you know, merchant vessel's hull shape, okay? Uh, so this is the maximum length, okay, and actually, all right, and then here's your maximum breadth, and then here's your maximum depth. But you can see here that, you know, that we, we, uh, uh, some of the boat is cut away in the bow, so we have a finer entry. Some of the boat is cut away in the stern, so we can get our rudder and our propeller in there, okay? So what we want to understand is to get some idea of the fineness of the vessel. Is, is the vessel more fine, you know, like a merchant vessel, or is it more blocky like a barge? We can use this block coefficient term, okay? So how we do that is, is you, um, you get the maximum length of the hull shape, you get the maximum width of the hull shape, and the maximum height of the hull shape, and then you compare it to a block, okay, of that equal length, width, and height, okay? And you essentially divide this volume by that volume, and you get a ratio. So, for instance, right down here, okay, this is like might be this is a typical merchant vessel. It usually has a block coefficient somewhere around 0.7. Could be a little more, could be a little less. Oftentimes, is a little bit less, okay. But this number came by taking this actual volume and dividing it by the volume, the same length, the same beam, the same height. But then there's no cutaway at the bow or the stern. Okay, and uh, I could compare that to this block. This block obviously has less cutaway than this one. So this one, if I take that volume, I divide it by that volume, I get 0.8. So this is 80% of the volume of that. This is 70% of the volume for that. That's our block coefficient, okay? And so it's the ratio of the actual length, maximum length, maximum breadth, maximum height of your vessel compared to a theoretical length, breadth, and height of a block. Okay, great. Okay, and you get different numbers which actually represent percentages. Okay, so now we're ready to start doing some calculations for TPI 
tons per inch immersion in moment to trim one inch. And this is going to be for the blue pages. So when you do this, you've got to calculate TPI first. And in the problems you're going to be given, uh, by, oh, here's our formula. So TPI is area of the water plane, okay, divided by 420. So that's length times beam times uh, P. Now P was that water plane coefficient that we talked about a couple slides ago. So in these problems, you're going to be given an L, a B, and a P. And then you're going to divide that by 420, okay? So L is going to be the LBP, length between perpendiculars. B is going to be the largest breadth or beam of the vessel. So not at the bow, not at the stern, probably somewhere in the middle. And then P is going to be the water plane coefficient. And in these problems, you'll be given P, okay? So inside the problem, you'll be given L, B, and P, and you'll have to multiply them and divide it by 420, and out pops TPI, okay? That's essentially how the architect calculated it and then put it into a table. So now, then we're going to calculate moment to trim one inch, okay? The moment to trim an inch formula, TPI is one of the terms. So you have to calculate TPI before you can calculate moment to trim an inch. So here's going to be the, fo the formula for that. Moment of trim an inch is the, uh, a constant associated with the block coefficient. So remember, we talked about the block coefficient uh, uh, one slide ago. And there's this constant that's going to be associated with that. I'm going to show you where you can look that up. And then that's going to be multiplied by a TPI squared. This is why you have to calculate TPI uh, first, okay, and divide it by B. So, okay, here we go, okay? So here we go. Uh, if you uh, calculate TPI and, and moment of trim an inch given, L, B, P, and block coefficient, okay? So I'm gonna need these three to calculate TPI and I'm gonna need that one for um, uh, my MT, MT1. So here we go, okay? Oh, I went the wrong way, sorry about that. TPI is area of the water plane divided by 420. So that's L, B times P, okay? L, B times P, great. So if I do that, 436 times 59.2 times 0.8 divided by 420 gives me 49.2. That, so that's 49.2 tons, okay? If you added 49.2 tons on the vessel at that point, you'd sink it by one inch. Now a moment to trim an inch is gonna be K from the block coefficient. Oh, there's our block coefficient, 0.65. We're not going to stick 0.65 in there. We've got to look up a number that is the constant associated with that times TPI squared divided by B. So, okay. Uh, so here you go. This is the blue pages. And if you look in the blue pages, okay, here's your scale, 20 foot draft, 19, 18, 17. If you look over here to the right on your blue pages, we never talked about it, but there are these little values over here. Okay. So here is the, air, the water plane coefficient. That's 0.8, okay? But down here is the block coefficient. So they gave you a block coefficient of 0.65. So here's 0.65. And if I do that, I slide over here and I can look up the K, the, the constant associated with that block coefficient, it's 28. That 28 is the number I'm gonna stick in there. Where did I get that? I took the block coefficient given to me in the problem. I looked up on the blue page, Halfway on the right-hand side, halfway up, there's this little, these two tables. There's a table for the block coefficient. I took my block coefficient, I went in, and I, slide, I slid over to K, and I extracted K. So that number, 28, goes here, not the 0.65. So there we go. So 28 times 49.2, which I calculated, and my TPI is 49.2. I square that, and I divide that by my breadth, my beam, 59.2, and I get a moment to trim an inch of 11.45, okay? So that's how you do those problems, and there's a few of those problems to do and for this assignment. Thanks.